right, Phil? The objective in this race is different to the other. It actually isn't a race, even. It's uh, it's all about demonstrating control of the camels, which so. some of them are failing to do at the moment. But you have to try and the two riders have to so. up, jump on at the same time and gallop together and pass the line together. So the idea is that when we pass the line, we can hold out hands and touch hands. Yeah, if we wanted to, we would be able to yeah. hold hands, which we might try. But, yeah. I see the if we stop now. Be oh, that camel's going anywhere. He's just playing to the camera. There's nothing to keep you in here. Remember, we'd fence. Yeah. Like here, there's just a little sand dune that the camel just loves to jump over. We can go anywhere here, and there's spectators all the way up with nothing between them and us. When we heard this wasn't a race race, we thought this was something like kind of pony trekking or dressage. Yeah, we thought it was dressage, like just a little trot like a charade. Didn't realize it was going to be total lunatics. Look at this thing. Look at him. He looks like he's had about 10 aspirins. Look at him. You got to stop taking that alka seltzer. Look at him frothing. Look, the four-year-old is racing. Look, he's racing. So as you can see, there's no age qualification here. You can be four and ride. There's a four-year-old can try and do this. Like this is literally. This guy is maybe four, maybe five. You see there, the little kid couldn't get up. He's too short. And he's no fear. And nobody's even looking at him. Like it's not. It's not as if everyone else is going. Oh my God, look at this. That's just normal. And he's taking on an old man. Oh, there's an old guy going, maybe it's a father and son thing, or a grandfather, grandfather and, and grandchild. It just shows how the tradition passes, though, from grandfather to child. I mean, there you have the kid looking up to his grandfather, who he's about to race against, and he too one day will look like Santa Claus there. It's a pity they don't believe in Christmas, isn't it? <sighs> oh, yeah, go, boy! Go on, wee lad! Oh, go on, Jeez, Grandpa! Good, isn't he? Go on! Go on, Grandpa! Go on, Grandpa! Perfect. Oh, he's catching him! Look Brilliant. at that for Harmony! Go on, four-year-old, keep going! Camel Harmony, look at that. Oh, this is, is this? the best. And look how close they are, see? Look at that. You have to try and get really close to that. I have a funny feeling the little boy's going to jump onto Grandpop's back now. Jeez, that is awesome. That's brilliant. That's, that's the way to do it. That's race of the day. Will you be Grandpops and I'll be the four-year-old boy? I'm going to grow my beard now in the next ten minutes. That's the way to do it there, isn't it? That's that brilliant. Was, yeah. It in took fact, them half an hour, mind you. Well, the trick is, don't start till you're absolutely comfortable. Yeah. And if your camel's going, <laughs> you can't start either. <laughs> I mean, the success rate so far, Graham, is at about 5%, and these are Bedouin, remember. 5% <laughs> at most. Look at that camel going all over the place. And these guys are pros. Like, I mean, that guy's been riding a camel since he was three years old. Oh, boy. This is going to kill me. 